All right, so Hopeless comes out in like two hours, I think. So I'm gonna attempt to do a reading vlog, but I'm gonna be in bed right here reading it on my Kindle. So if it looks like shit, sorry. Um, but also I'm I'm gonna be in bed comfy reading it all night. So yeah, um, enjoy the vlog. I slept for an hour and a half because Somebody had said that Hopeless was going to come out at midnight, and it did not. It was 4 a.m., so I tried to go to sleep and did not stay asleep. So I am finally opening Hopeless, and I am so excited, but I don't think I'm going to be reading this all in one sitting. It's definitely going to get done today, but it is not going to be all in one sitting because I am exhausted. I'm alone in this showing for the Ayers Corn movie. So I had Ayers Tour movie tickets for the 13th. And then there was a whole issue with that. And I was not sure I was even going to be able to go. Um, so because I thought that I wasn't going to be able to go, I was going to just spend the whole day in bed reading Hopeless. And then I ended up buying another ticket um, and just completely ignoring the issue that was going on with my other ticket. <laughs> um, and I don't even know how that's ended up yet, but I am reading Hopeless now. And I'm literally like seven pages in. I did not read it all on release day, obviously, like I thought that I was going to or like I wanted to. So I am settling in now. I did take melatonin, so I'm not going to stay up all night and read because that's just not going to happen. I was so exhausted today. And yeah, I talk with my hands and this angle is not working for me. Um, but I'm seven pages in to the ebook and like on the verge of tears. I don't know if it's just cause I've been on the verge of tears all day and I have felt emotional or, or what, but like Bailey just asked Bo if he wanted his favorite couch, the one that he and his brothers and all their friends typically take when they go to the bar and he is not having a great reaction to it. Um, I mean, he's not, it's not a bad reaction, but he's not like, Oh yeah, hell yeah. I'm, give me my couch. Um, and it's just, I love him. I love him and I only want happiness and love for him. And that ain't going to happen. I, you, I can already tell that ain't going to happen. So I'm a little bit upset about that. Um, and then like one paragraph later, he says that he'll have whatever Gary is having and he's having Buddy's best. And I just burst out laughing thinking about Sloan. So yeah. Okay. But also like, I know there's that like, not really a meme, but like, those posts will go around on BookTok or Twitter or something, any of them really, with a very spicy opening to like the first chapter. But I'm seven pages in and Bo is like thinking about how it'd feel to have Bailey's boobs in his hands. Dude, I, I don't, is that a is that a thing that guys think because I don't look at a like I don't I don't look at a girl and think uh, yeah let me let me get a handful you know like do guys do that for real like that's it's gross all right this one's specifically for the girlies but Bo just said that Bailey isn't wearing a stitch of makeup so how much makeup do we think that Bailey is wearing to give her the appearance of not wearing makeup? I love 
love Harvey. Why is no one asking me how fast I can run in my new shoes? Being an adult sucks. <laughs> I love this series. I haven't been vlogging super much. That's no. I haven't really been I haven't really been vlogging the last couple of hours. Um I took a nap and I've been reading Hopeless on and off when I've been awake. And I think I'm on page 313. So I. Uh, <laughs> hi. Hi. Yeah. Hi. Yeah, I know. I love you. Um, but I've. So I've been vlogging kind of as I go, but also taking the time to just be absorbed in the story because I know how sad I'm going to be when it's over and I'm not ready for that. Um, so I'm trying, but uh, Bo and Bailey are in the city on a date right now and I love it so much. I love them. I adore them. I love the way that they're, um, yeah, the way that they've kind of become each other's comfort. I just, I adore it. I love everything about it. She genuinely only likes me when I'm vlogging. Like I, she, hi, she hears, she was in the living room. I'm in my bedroom. This fan is going and it's pretty loud. I don't know if you can actually hear it while I'm filming, but she does not come in here. She doesn't get on my bed. I would love it if she did more, but she's sitting right next to me now because she heard me vlogging. I could be talking to my mom and she she doesn't care. She doesn't come hang out with me, but I put the the camera in front of my face and she's like, "I have to go. I have to. I have to see her." Yeah, you. Hey. Pepper. Pepper. So I was on my computer when I filmed the last clip. So I shut it and I got out my Kindle so that I could continue to read. And as soon as I started to lay down, cat left. Yeah, Pepper's gone, so. She's a brat. What's the kitty doing? Hi. Hi. What are you doing? You gonna get in the chair? No, you're gonna sit your ass right on the remote. I only have like 90 pages of this book left to go and I'm not ready for it to be over. So it's like 2 a.m. I'm gonna go to bed and I'll finish the book when I wake up. Um, I'm also going to go to Barnes and Noble in the morning or possibly afternoon. I don't know, I'm so tired. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm not ready. For this to be over at all. All right, I am gonna finish Hopeless and I'm really sad about it. I don't want the series to be over yet, so here we go. Bailey is finally standing up for herself and I feel so proud of her. I don't think I like this development at all. This is the absolute worst third act breakup that I have ever read. It reminds me of Rhett in the hospital, except so much worse. I, ju I just finished Hopeless and I had to re-download it and I knew I was going to have to, to read the Wild Love sneak peek. And um, I, I just saw something, I just saw something Holy shit, what? I, I'm, I'm shook. I am shocked. Like, I was fully crying over Hopeless being done. And now I... Uh, I, I can't. Alright, well that's not what I was expecting from Ford's book. Um... And now I'm supposed to wait six months for this? 
I, I, I don't, I don't think I can. Shit. Oh my God. 